Hey guys, Dan and his van here. I figured I would have lunch with you today. Talk a little bit about how I ended up in my van. Um, I guess it was about 12 years ago, or longer, actually longer. It was 2009. I had lost my, and this is my lunch, I have a shake for lunch every day. 2009, I lost my job. I worked at Carnival Cruise Lines for almost just shy of 10 years. And they let me go. They let my whole department go. I was one of the last few left. Um, they let me go four months before my 10-year anniversary, which I would have had a $10,000 bonus, which they didn't have to pay out to me since they let me go. Um, so then I started researching, had a hard time getting a job back in 2009. That's when the first real estate, um, crash hit and times were tough. Uh, lost my entire 401k because it was my own fault. I wasn't paying attention. Lost over a hundred thousand dollars in my 401k. I had a little bit of money left in my 401k and I said, you know what? I'm just going to buy a boat. With that last 20k, I paid the penalty in taxes because that's when I was. <laughs> I enjoyed my retirement back when I was uh, 45 or so, something like that. That was my retirement money. So now it's gone out the window. I started researching online um, cheap RV living. Sorry, I'm just gonna have some lunch. And I came across a website. Cheap RV Living. Bob Wells was the guy that started it. And I started doing a lot of research. And for the next 12 years, I did research on how to live cheap uh, because you have to... I started thinking of things in a worst case scenario. My dad had passed a year prior to when I got fired. Um, and that was a that was a sad time. Uh, I was in Florida, my parents and my, my dad lived in New Jersey. He had lung cancer uh, for, I think, three years before he passed. And I had, hadn't seen him six months before he passed. This, six, actually, six months to the day when he passed. But it was a rough patch between 2008, 2010. Lost my dad, lost my job. And this is not even counting the fact 2004 I was diagnosed with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. Um, I beat that. It's been 20 years now in remission. Uh, they can't say you're cured because it's a blood disease. But I've had a lot of, I like to say to people, I'm on life number seven because I should be dead about six times now. Yeah, so I, uh, I started thinking about living cheaply. Like worst case scenario, I was happy that I was alive. Things were in perspective. Um, and I think when you're when you should be dead, or if you've had a, a life-changing experience or a, or a situation where you could have died, I think that changes your whole perspective on life. It actually, I, like, I don't even beat my horn at anybody. Like, if anybody cuts me off, I just wave at them. And, you know, because most of the time, they don't even know what they're doing. And uh, I value my life so much. I do everything that I can to avoid any kind of conflict with friends, with family, anyone, just, I'm just very laid back, I love my life, and hey, I live in a van, um, I, in a bucket, <laughs> what am I going to complain about, you know, if people complain to me, I tell them, well, I live in a van, I don't have a kitchen, I don't have a bathroom, don't have a shower. I have a fridge. I got a computer. I have solar power. Uh, I have Starlink for my internet. And for the next 12 years, I was researching living in a van and living in an RV or something like that. Oh.